Hi, my name is David Leedy from LotusNotebook.com, and I'm going to attempt to do a screencast here on uh, X Pages and uh, more specifically building an X Page application. X Page is one of the uh, primary new features that the developers have in Lotus Notes and Domino version 8.5, and uh, it's uh, slated to solve a lot of the problems that we've always had uh, specifically joins and tables um, and some of the other presentation problems that we've had uh, over the years um, so let's get started here and just see what the, we can do with this um, this what I'm about to do is a uh, detailed kind of in several in a series of blog posts that uh, I've been running on my blog um, so you can follow along with that or, or watch the video um, okay, first thing we want to do is open up Domino Designer Eclipse, which you can see here, and we're going to create a new application. And we're going to put it on the server, and we're going to give it a name. Now, notebook, and off we go. Now, with X Pages, um, even though X Pages seems to replace a lot of the things that we've d used over time, like pages and uh, navigators uh, and even subforms, you're still going to use forms and views. They're going to be like your data source. So, like if you're using a, a Microsoft Access application, or you, you define your table first. You define your queries, and then you build your application kind of from that. Uh, to me, it seems like X Pages is kind of working very similar, where the forms become the tables and the views become uh, your queries. Uh, so let's make a new form here, and we're going to call this F Company. For our, we're going to make a company form. This is going this application is going to be basically a uh, company and contact tracking uh, application, uh, for lack of a better term. So in our form which is very standard traditional notes development, we're going to add some fields. First thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a name for the company, company name. And then we're going to come down here and give it an address. This one. City. State. Zip. And finally, uh, this is the basic information, but finally we're going to give it a field I'm going to call unique. And this is going to be a computer one composed field. And we're going to give it the formula at unique, which is very traditional in, in the lowest notes development when you want to get a, a pretty much a, a unique number, a time based number. Now, notice each field is all in lowercase right now. I didn't try and do anything fancy with a naming conventions or anything like that um, and uh, that's gonna you know play a part now uh, with X pages where in the f past you know case sensitivity was not really a factor uh, with JavaScript which is the primary language of X pages uh, and the X pages uh, engine I guess you would call it is very case sensitive so so these things are gonna start to play a factor um, as we go on to this development okay so let's save this form Okay, now I did give this a naming convention of F company for form company, um, but obviously you can name it however you wish. Okay, now let's make one other new form while we're here called F contact to hold the contact. Okay, and that's going to have some fields, very similar fields. First name, last name. phone and uh, finally email. Now we're going to make this form a response document and we're going to save this. And there you have it. Your first step in the X pages is making two forms. Uh, very traditional uh, company form and a contact form. Now you will notice that, that we don't have anything here. We don't have labels. We don't have any tables. We don't have any kind of uh, uh, guidelines for the users because we're not going to use this in the notes client right now. It's going to be specifically for uh, the X pages. And the next edition of the next episode will move on to the views. Thank you.